uh, if Afro nation is moved out of the country. So, GB, they tell me, say, Charlie, we will feel lose out. Yeah. Do you feel our artists understand that mission? Talking about Afro Nation uh, in a recent interview, Davido. Yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, when he was uh, talking to Ibro Darden on uh, Hot 97 in the morning with Laura Stars and Rosenberg, made the point that uh, Afro Beat, our uh, Afro Nation, of course, the father of uh, Afro Beat events, uh, they, they make some real quick turn away then they go Lagos this year. And I know the relationship with yourself, you are, yeah, I mean, uh, as managing as uh, managing artist, uh, you've you've been with Camido to most of these Afro Nation yeah. festivals, uh, this moving festivals and yeah, all that. Well, Portugal you, last year in Ghana, and we are going back to Portugal in June as well. So, yes. so um, I know, I'm sure there's a there's a strong relationship between yourself and Smith, yeah, yeah, and the team yeah. over there, yeah. Uh, and uh, before we look at their reason for moving, let's look at the impact of Afro Nation uh, on the year of return. Because I, I read, uh, I think on the was it on the fourth of April, mm -hmm. yeah, there about where my, my big brother shares going out to you, Ben Ben Jankese, and my big brother sent me a copy of the tourism report, the twenty twenty two tourism report, and I was going through it. I was seeing the impact that it made from 19, 20, 2019, its inception. Yeah now and uh, looking at the number of countries where people actually fly in from to mm -hmm. come and enjoy mm -hmm. Ghana mm -hmm. as it is. Uh, the fact that we made $2.5 billion from tourism alone in the year 2020, uh, 2022. And uh, would we lose? I, th I think we'll lose. I think we'll lose. I mean, listen, I mean, Nation, I remember the 2019 edition. That was the first ever concert that I've been to in Ghana mm -hmm. that I didn't meet. 10 or 20 people that I knew. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this every was... Every show, you go... No, like every you, show, you know, because I've been around faces. for a minute. Yeah. You know, every show, I meet a number of people that I know. Yeah. And that foundation 2019, it was crazy. I mean, most of the people I knew were working on the backstage. Mm. But in the crowd, very few people that I knew, very few. I mean, you come across people that you don't know, people from, you know, the Francophone countries, the Caribbean, you know, I mean, Europe, America, and these guys were all there to enjoy music. Mm. And that was what I felt like Ghana music was losing out because most of the music that were performed on stage were, you know, foreign music. And the people that came to experience Ghana, the teams that work on the Afro Nation were uh, um, live events from the UK. Mm -hmm. Yes, they engaged people from Ghana, but I mean, in totality, it was a major import of people. You know, people actually came in down here to party. Yeah. Last year was unfortunate. I mean, the rumors I'm hearing, from what I said is uh, there were some you know partners that came about last year mm -hmm. and Afro Nation mm -hmm. the owners of the brand didn't really like how things were done oh, okay. uh, you know the last day was you know was I think they had to call yeah, the again. last day was a mess yeah, the yeah. venue was so small uh, and a whole lot of things happened so they were not very much happy there were about, new partners on board yeah that's what I heard Oh, yeah, okay. that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and there were some new partners on but board. But they're, they're talking about a five-year contract with the government of Ghana. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They, had, they are only four years deep now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, even within the four years, 2020 wasn't held. Yes. Yeah, there was no 2020, and I think, was it 2021? Yeah, I think there was. A, yeah, yeah there was. so, was it? Because... I mean, yeah, 2021. I mean, I mean, 2019, there was, there was no 2020, and there was a 2021. Okay. Yes. Okay, because... Uh, so what, how many times have we had? Is it three times three or two times? times? So three times, eh? If the, if the contract is true, that means... Yeah, the contract is supposed to be five years, yeah, but like I'm saying, contract. I mean, rumors that I'm hearing is that, you know, there were some other people that joined, and they, they, they were making some calls that, you know, the boys were not happy about. Okay. So they felt like, you know what, well, let's just take it to Lagos and cool off and you know, come back maybe some someday. But I mean, Afro Nation going to Lagos is going to be huge in Lagos. Mm. Listen, Lagos is equally alive in December, mm -hmm. but just that they're not getting a world's attention like Ghana is getting. Okay. I mean, Ghana is getting 
the world coming to Ghana in December. Yeah. Now, if Lagos begin to have this then trust, we're going to lose out huge mm. because Lagos. Tell me about it. I mean, no, no. I mean, because Lagos is a hub of you know entertainment in Africa. Mm. You can't take it that away from them. Mm. Now. Maybe we might consider the security issues and that's what you people know, are talking about. But most of the people were on social media saying Nigeria is not a safe place for people and tourists will not like to go to Nigeria. Yeah, I mean that. I mean Nigerians have I mean listen, we all go to Nigeria, you know, when we go to Nigeria as a foreigner and especially you know, with some of the celebrity status, you need your security. Mm-hmm. So you rent your or you hire private. your you know your your V eight, you need the private security or police to follow you. Okay. So I can imagine if all these artists are going to Nigeria and everybody needs police, it's, uh, what about the crowd? What about the fans who are going to enjoy the concert? So, what about I mean, the tourists that are also coming? Yeah, they you have know, to so also get- Nigeria has Nigeria has security issues that we think has been hindering, you know, them. That is how come they actually brought the event here in the first place. Because I, I remember I asked Smith, we were at uh, was it Holiday Inn? The first time we were launching the event here, you know, we were together and asked him why Ghana, not Nigeria, mm-hmm. because you guys are from Nigeria and they said security issues you know lights and all these things were factors but for what what caused them to be you know to be able to move their brand or the event from Ghana to Lagos they must be they must must be be very angry and uh, people people on social media I mean I personally I think I made that submission on uh uh, Andy Dossi showed on Showtime that for an artist like the video to be the first person to mm-hmm. come out to tell mm-hmm. us, mm-hmm. that means there's a mm-hmm. lot of background, backdoor right. conversation no, no, I mean, that's that, been happening. No, I mean, that, that's how Afro Nation works. Mm-hmm. Afro Nation actually books you. Uh, I mean, Camino was booked to perform in Portugal last November. Mm. So you know what's happening. <laughs> you get me? Camino was booked to perform in Ghana in July. Wow. We were booked to perform in, uh, what's it called, in Portugal last November. So, ways be, ahead. Be, you get me? So, I'm sure the video, ahead. I'm sure the video has been, the video is people, and of course, most artists have been contacted to perform. And, you know, these guys work crazily. I mean, the team, in, listen, the Afro Nation team is huge. Now, if you if I deal with the Afro Nation team, the Smiths and all these guys that we know don't even come closer. There's a separate team that books the artists. There's a separate team that I get to deal with. It's 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 huge. Mm-hmm. It's huge. I mean, unlike yeah, I'm doing a show, bro. I want you to come and perform. No. It's not like that. No, no it's not like that. It's, it's not like team. that. It's a big thing. It's a different team that talks about, you know, engaging you. Mm-hmm. It's a different team that talks about, you know, accounts where the monies are going to be paid. Yeah. It's a different team that talks about your well-being, your welfare. Oh, man. So, GB, they tell me, say, Charlie, we will feel loose out. Yeah. Uh, if Afro Nation is moved out of the country. I think so. I think I think so because most people listen. Afro Nation is is that event, is the number one event for Afro Afro beat concert. And and I, I'm I'm thinking the, I mean there are several podcasts that I've myself I've witnessed where people were like, they they came to Ghana, um, to hang out and have fun, to look at the uh, several tourist sites mm-hmm. and uh, also to you know connect with their ancestors mm-hmm. and all that. That was mm-hmm. one of the reasons. I, I, I was also looking into the 2022 report of the, the Ministry of Tourism. And yeah. um, I would say that most of, from most of the podcasts that I've seen, most of the online reviews I've seen mm-hmm. people were also talking about the nightlife experience in Ghana that they do enjoy which I wouldn't say supersedes that of Afro Nation, but, but it's exciting it, I mean, yeah. it, it's also something that is also a pool factor on that level what would no you listen say? listen bro listen man. I've been to Portugal once mm-hmm. what took me to Portugal Afro Nation mm-hmm. you know I want to go to Puerto Rico what is what what do I want to go and do in Puerto Rico Afro Nation Afro Nation listen I mean people came to Ghana for the first time because Afro Nation was here mm-hmm. you understand I mean of course a lot a lot more people come here to go check the, the, the castle all the tourist sites in Ghana but it get exciting when you know very much that oh the artists that you've been listening mm-hmm. or streaming his music all year is actually mm-hmm. in the space is coming to Africa mm-hmm. and it's just about an hour or two hours flight from your country mm-hmm. to Africa I mean Ghana 
you're going to come in. You're going to come in. Listen, I mean, most people came in because, oh, you know, I'm, like, I'm from the Caribbean, so I know my mm -hmm. ancestral roots is, you know, in Ghana or Nigeria. Ghana, yeah. So let me go to Ghana. Those ones are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the role Afro the Afro Nation have yeah. done is mad, bro. People come down here for Afro Chella, no to Af Afro Nation, no two ways about that. But of course, you end up going to Accra is late in December. Mm. You know, we can't take that away from... Never to in December. Yo, man. December, a Christ lit. Like, I mean, December is so crazy that for... Uh, listen, in 2000 and... Was it 19 or one of the years? Everywhere, at every point, was choke. Mr. Isis concert was happening at... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the Sprinters there. Yeah, the Sprinters there. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't forgot the name. That place was choke. Mm -hmm. It took me more than three hours to move from... Uh, that place to get to Labadi. Mm. Yeah. It should, on a regular, it should take like 20 minutes. It took like three hours. Everywhere was choked. Afro Nation was choked. Uh, from, before Afro Nation, I went to Afro Chella. It was super choked. Like, I mean, you ask yourself, then, yeah. where are these people from? Mm. Like, I cry, it's choked. Listen, if you're in the hospitality industry in that period, you make a lot of money. Mm. You understand? So, we will feel it. Afro nation, will, like, Afro nation will take something away from Ghana. And do do can we substitute Afro nation? Can we do? A I mean, I mean, I mean. I think, I think Afro Afro future. Yeah, right? Afro future. Formerly yeah. Afro Afro Chella. Mm -hmm. I think what we need to do as people is to you know all come together and support, mm -hmm. and and for them also to get the right you know monies or finances to uh, engage or employ mm -hmm. top top superstars to come and perform in Ghana. Do you believe our artists do uh, also understand this mission? Because uh, uh, people were uh, people were of the view that once Davido and the rest were talking about giving a positive review and our no produce production, mm -hmm. we said that video whereby uh, Davido was talking about. Comparing yeah. Nigeria and experience it. You've been you've been to Ghana. I think. I've been to Ghana a few you, times. Yeah, I have not been, been to Lagos yet. Tripping. Come on. I know. I know. Remember, but, we were supposed to do the whole meeting Ghana yeah, yeah, and go. Yeah. Let me the, the difference of Nigeria and Ghana. Let me just explain how Nigeria and Ghana. Nigeria is New York. Yes. Ghana is Miami. Maybe. Uh, it's it's calm. It? What's it's, where's yeah. calm and nice? Maybe like well, not in America. So maybe well, like well, yeah, California. Miami, maybe I'll say California, I'll say Cali. Yeah. I'll say Ghana's like Cali. So. What happens that you know people tend to go to Ghana more because it's kind of less people, there's more space. It's more vacation. It's more vacation, but you trying to like Turn see up. everything in one. You want to see the bad parts, the great parts, the everything. You go to Lagos and all the cultures, Lagos. All everything the is in that Lagos. Everything. Do you understand? So <laughs> if you can survive in Lagos, you can survive anywhere. That's why most of them from Lagos, they come straight to New York. You know what I'm saying? They blend in. Ignorant question. Uh, is Lagos near water also? Mm -hmm. Yes. So right. it has beaches too? Of course. So it's got everything. We got beaches. We got um, islands. You know, take the boat. Beautiful. What's the uh, Victoria Island? Victoria yeah. Island. Banana Island. Koi. Crazy. We, we Now, like, crazy structures going up. Penthouses. Oh, so it's a lot of, be lot of condos. A lot of condos. Doing something I just with bought a water. penthouse. Crazy. You think you're in Miami. Nigeria is the best place to go. But Nigeria yes. has everything. Oh, Ghana yes. Yes. I mean, do you feel our artists understand it, that mission? Yeah, I think uh, they do. I mean, I've listened to a couple of interviews from Stoneboy, whom you know he he did mention. Top notch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, shout out to Stoneboy. He's been doing some amazing job right there. I got information in there for the Yeah. No, no Stoneboy understands it. Stoneboy understands it. He's done it, some yeah. amazing things there. Eh? Charlie Super Stone Pierre, Boy, listen, DJ. listen, bro, listen. Uh, our artists are some of the finest people who can play the role of, I mean, play PR, mm -hmm. play the role of PR or PR. Um, let me say PR. You know, in in the fight against or in the fight for all in fighting for people to come to this country. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we need to do more. If not just start doing, we will lose out. Mm -hmm. One of the things that really threw more light on Ghana and it was fun was when Benna Boy said, oh, I'll go to Ghana when I want to relax. Relax. And people felt like, oh, what is it in Ghana that makes people relax? Oh, let me go to Elabadi Beach yeah. and see that horizon see, thing yeah. he was talking about. Now, if Nigerian artists are to go, these guys move and they move big. Yeah. If Nigerian artists are to go onto American radio station, TV stations, or media platforms, do the same thing in the UK and, and they, keep, they start saying good stuff about Nigeria, Bro, you would like to go to Nigeria. You have been to New York. Mm -hmm. You know how crazy New York looks. Yeah, yeah. 
You get to New York and you ask yourself, ah, into New York and buy any. I'm telling you, tell <laughs> my first time we are live for JFK. Bro, I, I can't mean, then can I say what's happening? <laughs> New York is dirty, but you know, at the end of the day, what do we hear? Oh, New York, New York. It makes you feel like going there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Ghana's enjoyed. Jay Z will tell you New York. Oh, what I say? What I say? Oh, now, oh, now, Manhattan. I said, oh, now, Mokola. But it is New York in our minds. We have that image of heaven. Yeah, 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 what do you say? So I enjoy other parts of America, yeah, than but New not New York. Yeah, me yeah. myself, bro. 2 a.m. traffic, 3 a.m. Hey. New York is crazy, man. New York is a place I like to live. No, no, no. But at the end of the day, we we still have New York at heart or in our minds. So there's, a, there's a certain mental image of New York because in our heads. You get me? So if this Nigerian artist are to go back and say, hey, Lagos is the place to be, come to Lagos. How easy is it for our artists to come together as against that of Nigerians? How easy is no, that? No, no, it's, it's difficult because, you see, our artists don't have the room to move out there. We don't operate. That's I was telling people. Anytime Camino goes to the UK, fortunately for us, we have the people to help us get mm -hmm. to the BBCs and all these top, top channels in the UK. Mm -hmm. Anytime we get to the UK, we go there to work. Like, we make sure that we are on mainstream media. Yeah. You get me? The question is how many people in Ghana, how many artists in Ghana go to UK and get to mainstream media? They don't. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say, a Camido or a Sarko, the, uh, you know, Stone Boy goes out to say, hey, come to Ghana, come to Ghana. I think the last interview we did with Eddie Cardi, Camido was, you know, heavily yeah, speaking the, about, you know, yeah, uh, a flower and all that. Yeah, so if that. somebody hears a flower for the first time, it's going to come. It's going to be like, oh, it's a nice place. Let me go. But you're getting Camido, you're getting King Promise, you're getting a very few of our Artists. Yeah, Whereas in Nigeria, these guys are in everybody every, day. Listen, bro. Everybody day. Like the, day. You know, they are going hard and talking no, about Lagos, you. Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. You have no choice about to go to Lagos. All they have to do in Lagos is to fix themselves. But you see, I think even with Lagos, it is not as bad as we think it is. Okay. It's on part of Lagos. Okay. You know, because I've been to Lagos and it's fun. It's, listen, Lagos has got all. Hey, my marketing Lagos. Anyway, come to Accra. I come to Accra. <laughs> come to Ghana. Well, yeah, GB we, is my special guest yeah, today. Man. Street is what watching. Watch man, we're talking about Ghana's entertainment scene, um, some of the major trending topics. Now, George Quay made uh, this assertion on UTV that mm -hmm. he believes that Ghanaians, Ghana artists, we will not be that focus will not be that united to you know push a, sh a certain agenda mm -hmm. now I, i'm connecting this with this issue because there there needs to be a call to action mm -hmm. and where do you think it should come from should it come from the top should it come from the ministry uh would they or do you think there are a group of people that will that that are that proactive to look at these figures, look at the contributing factors to these figures, and start acting now. Because we are we are, in, we are in April as it stands now. We are in April, right? Mm -hmm. And as it stands, that we should be getting our our shit together. Yeah. To launch fully yeah. for December. Yeah, I think I think listen, man. Where should it come from? Should it come from the artistic no, point no, no, of view? I think, or I, think the top? I think it needs to, it needs to come to the top. It needs to come from the top. Reason being that there's there should be an agenda. Mm -hmm. that is said by some group of people to say hey listen man okay artists you know what you're going to be hired for these services you're going to be the ambassadors sorry the ambassadors for uh our our december you know with the world coming to ghana now what we're going to do for you is that this is it in december we want to drive ghana to the world i mean the world to ghana now we are going to push you guys out there mm -hmm. Go to all the media houses in America. Go to the ones in the UK. Yeah. Go to the one in Canada. You know, and everyone. They sponsor everybody. Are, everybody get me, fly Everybody out. gets sponsored. Don't stay here. Bro, so go. bro when you go when you go out there in, in summertime, you feel sad. Charlie? You feel sad. And I was at Afro Nation. I was at Afro Nation and I could count the number of Ghanaians there. Everywhere you pass, you see Nigerians. Everywhere you pass. Like it was you know, like most of the people I saw there are people are seeing Lagos. You get me? So I felt like, am I actually in Lagos or I'm in Portugal? I said that me and DJ Visashi, I think we were at, uh, you know, uh, the Wireless Festival. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful. Same. It was that German music being played, uh, the remnants and all fireballs and all these boys were performing. Down, you get me? Down. And there was Everywhere no. Everywhere, baby is coming down. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and there was no Ghanaian artist. So, 
you know, the Nigerian factor is huge. But until until we make it a conscious effort as an industry to say, oh, okay, you know what? Uh, the creative art sector, the music industry, whatever it is. Now, in mean, every summer, for us to also push our own out, we are letting out the top 10 Ghanaian artists in the space. Mm-hmm. to go out to the world and sell our music or sell the country. Mm-hmm. Now, Stoneboy, go to America. Shatawale, go to the Caribbean. Uh, Camido, go to London. Kidney, go to London. This person, go to America. Like, you know, so that we, we spread across. Yeah. Because if we don't do this, and all the years, Nigerian music, everybody will think Nigeria is the only guys in Africa mm-hmm. doing music. Now, we have the capability to also sell ourselves. Mm-hmm. We have the capability to also sell the country Mm -hmm. but it should be agenda driven Mm -hmm. now if we know that okay now every Ghanaian who steps out of the comfort you know who steps out of Ghana when you go out there and you're having your conversations or your your interviews make sure that Ghana 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 Ghana, is mentioned in your conversation it should be it should be engineered it should be we should be very much intentional about it yeah you get me but that's the situation I Mm. mean Listen, our artists are thinking about wanting. Let me get a hit song. That's what they care about. Mm-hmm. So it's only be a bit my didi. What did I say? That's what they care about because yeah. that's the only means they survive. If you don't hit as an artist in this country, no money for you. Ah. So the artist, he wakes up every morning thinking how to make a hit song. Yeah. That's what they care about. Yeah. But if, like, like the Nigerians have been able to, you know, sell music, sell themselves, sell mm-hmm. Lagos. Nigeria is not as beautiful as we see in their movies or yeah, their, yeah, in their yeah. music. Yeah. There are crazy even things New happening. Self, even New York self no be the same. You understand? I so, mean, when you go to Nigeria, listen, I was mm-hmm. told I was told by people in Lagos. I mean, people in the industry. Listen, Lagos alone has a million, one million artists, over one million artists in Lagos. That's crazy. Man. How many artists in Nigeria are big? They're not even up to hundred. Yeah. But what do we say? We say Nigerians have all the stars. Yeah. Because out of the million in Lagos, out of the three hundred uh, mm-hmm. and two hundred and something million people. They've been able to turn out some artists yes. who go out there and represent them. I look at the Rema. Mm-hmm. They are on mainstream. I was listen, I was in I was in a cab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was in a taxi in New York. And mainstream, about about one a, about one PM in the afternoon, mainstream radio was playing Nigerian music. It was Fields, it was Rema, it was Joe Boy, it was bro, David bro, and all these I boys. Won't, I, won't, I won't catch you, I think last summer. Yeah, I think you were there. You were in Washington. You were at yeah, 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 yeah. I think you were in then, yeah. then I did Virginia. Okay. I was in Virginia, and um, most of the shops, like from the Ubers, mm-hmm. where I pick to most of the departmental store, I, there was one, one place where I go. And normally I don't hear that type of shit. That's Target, right? Targets, normal that they do, do yeah. I've never been to a target way. Uh, mm-hmm. Pardon me, I don't really travel like that, but I've never been to a shop like that where they play music. But there was this target where I go to and they were playing the video and it was back to back. I thought <laughs> probably it was on radio, but it was back to back. I was hearing Dami Duro, I was seeing Aye, I was seeing all those songs back to back. And I was like, ah, I didn't the video, Baby, you shopping with her now. What, what is really mm-hmm. going on? Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, I, I'm thinking the agenda to push Ghanaian music should be driven from the top mm-hmm. because our artists don't really have the, no. the financial muscle to no, do it on their own. Don't. They, they know we fit. No, they don't. I mean, like but I said, I mean... Where, where did we fall off? The, I mean, looking at the trajectory of our music, how strong we were uh, back in the days where we used to lead Nigeria and all these fights. I mean, it was... I had a conversation with one, a certain Mr. Kofi Chikata back then, he was with World Bank, uh, who, who said to me that, listen, I mean, some funds have been released to Nigeria uh, in the t- entertainment industry. That was about $200 million back then. I... This, we had this conversation around 2010, 11, 12, there about. $200 million. Uh, dollars was, you know, injected into the in- industry. And I think he said to me that the late uh, wow. Honorable Jacob J. Blamte was chasing for Ghana too mm. before MPP went off. And, you know, I, did, I mean, the situation was a bit some way when MPP mm-hmm. lost the seat. But, there was a certain uh, there was a certain investment injected in the industry that gave them and this listen one of the problems that we have as people is that as an industry is that when these funds are raised we think it should go to the artists no it shouldn't okay tell me where it should go now you know we need to set up institutions it could be a label mm-hmm. now 
I keep saying that the problem we have in this industry is that the industry is led by the creatives, okay. the the artists, not executives, okay. not the people who sit back and think and say, okay, you know what? We are going to drive an agenda. We are going to drive a high life agenda. Now, every artist that releases a song here in Ghana mm-hmm. titles a song High Life. We are going to get 10 or 20 of you and it is our core duty to go market this song in the world. Okay. Now, we are going to be well connected to the Spotify and hype, uh, the Apple Music and the Tidals and all this and mm-hmm. say, hey, there's a wave coming from Ghana. It's called High Life. Mm-hmm. Push it. Yes. Get you a playlist me. for High Life. Push it. Make sure. Play- you get me. Make sure that, okay, so the industry, the industry actually finances some of these artists to say, you're doing High Life. <laughs> When you record, when you finish up your song and you're uploading it, select High Life, High Life. Mm-hmm. That is song we are going to be recognized. Okay. Now, as an artist, I mean, he wants to fit in. As an artist, he wants to, he wants to be recognized. And he wants to, to do on us. Uh, I don't Afro do a a to a I mean, listen, go back to five years ago, five, ten years ago. Mm-hmm. There was no Afro beat in all these things. Yeah. African music fitted in world music category. Yes. But today there's Afro beat. I had a conversation with one big don. He was telling me when uh, the, the back in the days where. Uh, the Grammys uh, couldn't figure out where to put uh, Lady Smith and the Black mm-hmm. Mombazo mm-hmm. and also mm-hmm. Paul Simon in the category. That's when they created mm-hmm. the world music category. Music, they it's true. They, they, they couldn't figure out where to put them because they, they were powerful. Very and powerful. everybody wants to belong these days. So yes. if I get to a category and Charlie, it'd be big for the... Why why, why I don't create them a hashtag join my movement and then feel, feel them for them? <laughs> but anyway, this is my special guest, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a chat. Yes, we do everything for the culture for this day.